Hey guys, you like my new mug? Because I like my new mug. I mean, obviously that's why I bought it. But I don't know, it's just so encouraging. I feel like when I drink from this, I could be like a boss. I feel like I could totally be a boss. It's kind of empowering. So I think I'm gonna start my, more of my mornings off drinking out of this mug. Sit that up there. Anyways, this is a book haul video, so let's just get to the books. So first up, I have The Glass Castle by Jeanette Walls, which is a memoir about the author and her dysfunctional family. Basically, she and her siblings ended up having to protect and care for one another because their father was a drunk and their mother didn't want to be a mother. So, although this sounds like it's going to be a very emotional story, obviously there was some good that came out of their situation because Jeanette Walls is a New York Times best-selling author, and it actually says on the back that... Their parents followed them to New York, choosing to be homeless as their children prospered. So while it does sound like it's going to be an emotional read, it shouldn't be too bad. I mean, knowing that the outcome was good. Next up, I have The Kite Runner by Khalid Hosseini, and I don't know a lot about this book, but this is one that I have seen everywhere. I mean, a few book reviewers that I follow, they left this a really good review, and so that's kind of why I picked it up. Also, it's historical fiction. I do know that. Um, but outside of the genre, I don't really know much else about it and I kind of don't want to. I really want to go into it without knowing too much about it. I feel like it will add to the story experience, to the reading experience. Next I have Wake by Lisa McMahon and this has actually been on my TBR pile for a very long time but a friend of mine recently recommended it to me and so I had to pick up a copy and I got it from Second of Charles for like three dollars so that was pretty dang good and it's like in really good condition. But yeah, this is about a girl who can walk through dreams, and that sounds really awesome, so I'm probably going to enjoy this one. I also have Rebel Bell by Rachel Hawkins, which I'd actually made it up in my mind that I was not going to read this book. Because, although it was sitting in my TBR for a long time and I was interested in reading it, um, I heard that this one was good. I heard this one was good, but like the rest of the series wasn't so good, wasn't as good as the first book, so that kind of turns me off when I hear that the first book is great and then the rest of the series kind of goes downhill. So yeah, I wasn't going to get this, but it was 79 cents at Ollie, so I picked it up. I also picked up Eon by Alison Goodman, which is a Mulan retelling. This is the first book in a duology, and um, yeah, outside of it being a Mulan retelling, I don't really know much else about the story. <laughs> so for years, Eon's life has been focused on magical study and sword work with one goal, that he be chosen as a dragon eye, an apprentice to one of the 12 energy dragons of good fortune. But Eon has a dangerous secret. He is actually Eona, a 16-year-old girl who has been masquerading as a 12-year-old boy. Females are forbidden to use dragon magic. The penalty is death. When Iona's secret threatens to come to light, she and her allies are plunged into grave danger and a struggle for the Imperial Throne. Iona must find the strength and inner power to battle those who want to take her magic and her life. So that sounds really interesting. Um, I love stories that, you know, incorporate magic into the mix, so I'm probably going to enjoy this. Plus, it's a Mulan retelling! Oh, I need to get Flame in the Mist. Oh my gosh, and I'm thinking about Flame in the Mist. I need to get that book. I'm gonna haul it soon, okay? I'm going to haul it soon because I really need to read that book. There's so many. There are a lot, there are a lot of books I need to read, to be honest. Next, I have Tales from the Shadowhunter Academy by Cassandra Clare, Sarah Reese Brennan, Maureen Johnson, and Robin Wasserman. I was so happy to find this in Ollie's and for such a good price. I think it was like four dollars, um, and it's like nine dollars on Book Outlet, I think something around there but I'm really loving this world and so I was so happy to pick this up and oh my gosh look at this look at that look at that oh my gosh I love this in the beginning of each story you have these little comic pages comic book pages and I love it it's so nice so yeah I'm gonna enjoy that I have one more book before I get to my book outlet haul and that is The Forbidden Wish by Jessica Corey Sarah J Mass actually blurbed this book she says, it is lush, romantic, and exquisitely written. A rare, glittering jewel. I know I'm going to love it if she said that about it. It's, it has to be good. And Renee Adier left a review for it, too. She says, this is Aladdin like you've never imagined, filled with unexpected twists and turns reminiscent of a magic carpet ride. Jessica Corey's The Forbidden Wish is a must-read for anyone who loves a fantastic story. So I know I'm going to love this. Oh, Marissa Meyer left a review, too and Colleen Hooks, but I've never read any of Colleen Hooks books. Um, so I'm pretty sure this is going to be good. Um, honestly, I don't know a lot about this book either, other than the fact that it is an Aladdin retelling, but um, a few reviewers that I follow, follow, 
Okay, a few reviewers that I follow left a really good review for this, and so I'm probably gonna enjoy this. Plus, I like Aladdin. Who doesn't like Aladdin? <sighs> okay, so now we're on to the few books that I got from Book Outlet, which, um, honestly, I opened already because I couldn't wait. Yeah, I couldn't wait. I opened them, and I'm glad I did because some of the books were actually damaged. Yeah, so what I got was I got, like, six books. Um, one was a box, like six of five of them. Five of them made up a box set and then I got one other book. But yeah, I got the Lunar Chronicles in hardcover and you see the box? Yeah, that's how it came. That's how, this is how it was when I received it. There were some damages to the books, like Scarlet. This is not supposed to stick out. And um, yeah, it's damaged. Can you see that? Yeah. Um, and there was also some cosmetic damage to the other ones, but, um, I'm not going to be too nitpicky. I did message them. I sent them an e email and complained about it. And, you know, they dealt with the situation. Honestly, their customer service team is really good, but I'm kind of tired of having to deal with issues. You know, this is like the third time fourth time. I don't even know. It's just been a lot. Like lately, every time I've ordered from book outlet, there's been an issue. So, I know that stuff happens. I know that stuff happens, and I don't want to seem mean or anything, but, you know, it's kind of frustrating. I'm just going to replace the damaged books, like, a little later. For those of you who don't know what The Lunar Chronicles is, and I seriously doubt you don't, I don't know how you couldn't. I mean, this is, like, one that's become really popular. These are basically fairy tale retellings. So, Cinder is about Cinderella. Scarlet is about... Red Riding Hood. Crest is about Rapunzel. Winter is about Snow White. And Fairest is about the Evil Queen. And I'm actually only three books in. I have one book left. Well, two books left because I have to read this as well, which is, this is like a prequel novel. Um, but I re have really been enjoying the series so far. It's a really, really awesome series. And Cress is definitely by far my favorite book of the whole series because it was just so stinking good. I rated it 5 out of 5 stars on Goodreads. It's just so, so much awesomeness in this one book. I would read this again and again and again and because it, it was just that good. It was so good. I loved it so much. And I love how all of the stories are connected and how it's like, it's really all one story, but, um... These are told from the point of view of different characters as the story progresses, and I just love it so much. It's so good. Last but not least, I have My Heart and Other Black Holes by Jasmine Warga, and this is actually a contemporary novel about a girl who wants to commit suicide, but she doesn't want to do it alone, so she discovers a website where you can choose a partner, and she ends up partnering up with this teenage boy who she grows close to, and he makes her question whether she really wants to go through with it or not. She ends up trying to figure out whether she really wants to die or whether she wants to try to convince him to live life with her. Sylvia K actually mentioned this on her channel and I kind of feel like I need to read everything she leaves a good review because we have similar reading tastes and so that's why I picked this up. Also it sounds really interesting. <sighs> this is going to hurt me. Oh yep. I'm tired. <laughs> Okay, let's get them all up. Can you see all those good books? Yep. Whew, don't fall. I'm so exhausted. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you like this video, then please give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more. See you guys next time. <laughs>